Here's nine tips for instantly improving in Pokemon Unite. Number one, temporarily stop using high skill cap Pokemon or Pokemon that have late power spikes. Play matches with simple to use Pokemon in either the top lane or the bottom lane and that have a level four or five power spikes. Here are some of my suggestions up on the screen. Number two, considering securing farm is kind of the main focus of this game, then focus on that. Use your skills to secure the farm. And if your skills are still on cooldown, stop attacking the farm. This way, the farm will have a higher chance of being alive when your skills are ready to be used again. Optimize your chances for securing the farm. This will help you level up quicker and gain an advantage over the enemy. Tip number three, if you play on the Nintendo Switch, stop playing with your damn Joy-Cons. Use a Pro Controller, and if you don't have one, go buy one. There's a link in the description. This is the official Nintendo Pro Controller, probably the cheapest one I could find on Amazon. You get the controller for the same price, and I promise you, it's gonna help you improve in Unite. And as for other physical products, you can actually see everything that I use in this Amazon link. It shows the products that I use. So go on, you can go judge me, tell me how cheap I am for using any particular brands. But anyway, let's jump on to tip number four, which is use Pokemon that are flexible in their builds. This is more of a tip for anticipating draft coming into ranked, but it'll pay off when we release it. Blastoise, Sylveon, and Eldegoss would be my top three suggestions. Tip number five. Utilize online resources such as Unite DB for understanding Pokemon and their builds. AOS Kit to talk through the strategies with your friends. Unite API to look up player data and metadata. And Unite Guides for just an additional resource at utilizing and understanding a particular Pokemon in Unite. These are four fantastic resources that are free on the internet that will help you improve in the game. Tip number six. Before using a Pokemon in ranked, spend 10 minutes in the practice arena with this Pokemon. Have Unite DB open on your phone, read the skills, practice them on the dummies, actually understand what your skills do and your autos do. If you play accordingly with this knowledge, you will no doubt be getting the benefits when you go into your ranked matches. Number seven, remember farming rotations. Rotations, rotations is everything. If you jungle, buffs every one minute. If you lane, remember the order in which the farm was secured and be ready to attack and secure that farm when it respawns one minute later. You'll be amazed at how much free farm you will be getting just because you've got good rotational awareness about the timing. And as for the contested Alterias, they spawn at 8 minutes 50, 7 minutes 20, 5 minutes 50, 4 minutes 20, and 2 minutes 50. And if you break the lane early, then generally this is what's going to happen. 8 minutes 50, 7 minutes 20, 5 minutes 50, and then it'll be 445, 315, 145. And the middle Alterias will spawn at 8 minutes and then every 90 seconds after they've been KO'd. So keep a little mental note of those timers. It's a lot to remember, but the more you focus on this and the better you get, you're going to see the benefits of rotations, getting that experience, and you're going to be a higher level in your games. Tip number eight. Defend the damn lane towers. This is by far my pet peeve. This is the worst thing you can possibly do in a game of Pokemon Unite. If there is no one defending a tower and you run off to take a bow toy and you let the enemy score 20 points, the enemy not only are going to close the score lead that you may have over them, but what's also going to happen is that they're gonna get more experience by scoring than you do from the bow toy. So by making that decision, it is a net negative payoff in experience, let alone letting the enemy close a score lead. So guys, if you are in a lane, whether it's the top lane or the bottom lane, be wary of making sure you keep your lane winning. Defend the towers. And my final tip for instantly improving some of those win rates in Pokemon Unite is understanding when you have got a team composition that requires a tank and requires a supporter. Guys, a lot of the time in your matches, you're going to win because your team has a tank and the enemy team doesn't. So if you need to be that person using the tank, then be the change you wish to see in your matches. Play a tank, play a support, understand how these roles work. It's not gonna be every single time, but by being good at this role, you're gonna be amazed at how well you can help your other teammates carry in your games, simply because they are going to outwork the other players on the enemy team because they don't have that support. And there you have it, that is nine Pokemon Unite tips to instantly improve. If you got some value, drop a like on the video and there are much more useful, more in-depth guides on this channel and really anywhere else on YouTube. So go check any of them out.